hello guys today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how we can use instagram api to build out instagram uh, uh, media downloader which basically scrape all the post of instagram username and automatically export them into a zip file so we are using flask web framework inside the browser to do this pro process automatically we will be scraping all the post from instagram and downloading it as an attachment so we have this simple interface guys here you will enter the username of the person that you want to scrape so what i will do is that let me check uh, this uh, profile here you need to simply write the username so i will write the username and then we will simply click the download media button so as you click this download media button guys automatically in the background in the console you will see basically it will scrape all the photographs and the videos from that instagram username and it is using instagram api in the background and uh, once it is done downloading it it will download all the things inside the zip file as an attachment so when the process is over it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds you will see it has downloaded it as a zip file and now it contains all the photographs that you see inside your profile so it's a really nice script guys which we built using flask web framework i will be giving it for a very reasonable price if you have still doubts you can go to the description of the video you could purchase the full script so basically it contains all the image files and the video files it will automatically scrape and download it as a zip file you can see it's a video file you will see that so now I will be showing you guys how you can build out this script very easily. So first of all, as you all know, we are using this. Uh, uh, let me just delete and start from scratch. So the very first thing you need to do guys inside your command line, there is a module we need to install, which is install loader. I N S T A install loader this is actual module which we are using it inside the background guys to communicate to the instagram api and then we need to create app.py file so here guys we will simply have the flask framework and we will have these modules we need to use install loader as well zip file for creating the zip files time module as well and we also need url lib parse and from flask we will need these modules which is flask request jsonify and send file to uh, download the file as that as an attachment and render template so we will initialize a new flask app guys like this so after you do this guys we will simply now start our application this is the basic way by which you can do that so here we will simply say app dot run and we will pass this option debug to true so it will automatically restart the application whenever you make any sort of changes so after this guys we will initialize the new instance of install loader like this install loader so after this guys what we will do is that let me start this application python app.py so it will start this on localhost 5000 port number nothing will be there we need to basically create a template so just create a templates folder and right inside this we just need to create our index.html so this will be a simple form guys we will simply make a simple post request to this uh, api action will go to slash download and the method here will be post and basically here guys the user can enter the username we will say enter a username input type will be text and the name attribute will be username or url sorry username and the button will be download media that's all so button will be of type submit this is a simple form guys and uh, now to basically show this we will have this uh, app dot we need to basically show this template so we will basically make a simple route so whenever 
someone goes to the home page we do need to basically render this template so we'll say render template and we will simply pass the index.html so if you just refresh guys uh, you will see basically your template we do need to start this so you will see that this is the interface and now we will need to make this post request guys which basically uh, handles this logic for us so we just do need to create another post request here a route app dot route and this will be slash download and here we will say methods will be post and for this guys you will basically have the download method and here we will be downloading the instagram post so you will get the username that the user has submitted so request dot form username so after we get the username guys we simply need to say if username is not entered by the user then in that case we will say username or url so if the if the user has entered the full url in that case we do need to strip the username we will define a new method after this we just need to basically download underscore profile this is the method we need to right we will pass the actual username to this as an argument and then we will simply send file as an attachment so as attachment this option will be as true that's all so we do need to create this method guys which is uh, i think this method is sorry okay after we get this username we do need to say to have this get username so like this so we do need to basically create this method guys so just copy this paste it this will actually extract the username from the url guys so if you have passed the url full url it will extract the username and return it and then guys we will basically have this full method which actually scrapes the profile and download all the images and export this to a zip file so it's a pretty long method so what i will do is that and simply copy paste this method so the link is given in the description of the video guys so if you still want this source code you can purchase it it's a very reasonable price so let me just guide you the step by step instructions so inside this method guys we are receiving this username we are calling the download profile method of install loader we are passing the username profile pick to be true and after this we are simply exporting it to the zip file we are choosing the extension mp4 jpg jpeg and png and then we are returning this zip file as an uh, from this function that's all so this is all that you need to do guys for this application if you just refresh it so just enter let me enter my username which can only contains one photograph you will see that so this is the actual username let me copy this so paste it so it doesn't it will you will see username or url is not defined so let me change this uh, this one so just change it enter the username and click on download so it is saying uh, key error username let me see i think guys let me paste this full source code sometimes error can take place so let me paste the full source code the link is given in the description guys you can purchase the full source code and this is my index.html so just refresh it and uh, let me write this username and it will hardly take 
two times. So it only contains one photograph. You will see it's a profile picture and the actual post. So you can take any example here, any username that you can take, guys. You can take this username. Mitch said no, click. So it basically contains 74 posts, so it will take a lot of time. So one by one it will go through. You will see that it is scraping all the posts here, downloading it. And once it is done, it will basically download the zip file. So make sure that you wait for longer post. If you have thousands of posts, just make it in, run in the background. And once it is done, it will download all the photographs inside the zip file. So it's a pretty handy script guys, which is a web application you will see. So this is basically you will see that. So thank you very much guys for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next video.